Hey guys, it's Taylor here, and today I'm going to be doing a video all about my pet peeves because recently I've had a lot of them interrupt my life, so yeah. But before this video gets started, yes, I very much so am wearing a sports bra. You're gonna get over it, okay? Like, mm. I'm really sorry if you're like 8 years old and you just can't handle a sports bra. This is all you're gonna see, so yeah, you can just leave now. Bye! So I've written this list of all the things, well, the things I could currently think of that have been bothering me a lot. So let's get into this. For whatever reason, I didn't say what number of pet peeve I was on throughout the video, so I'm going to have to cut in these awkward videos of me saying what number of pet peeve I'm on. Pet peeve number one. When someone like grabs, okay for example, when someone grabs a chip out of a bag, eats it, whatever, lick all of their fingers, and then stick their dirty hand back into the bag. A lot of times my mom and I get Duncan. It's kind of our thing. I know it's really unhealthy. You, you don't need to tell me. I'm highly aware. We'll get munchkins and she'll eat a munchkin. Go like this. Uh, uh, I kid you not. Every single finger has to be licked. Then she sticks her hand back in the box. So a lot of the times I don't actually eat them because her gross spit is in there. Pet peeve number dos. Okay, so, you know, you wash your hands, great. Like, we're really proud of you for washing your hands. So, you know, like, you wash your hands and there's water dripping off of your hands. So, most people splash it. Great. However, people, for whatever reason, think it's okay to splash it on the counter. I personally like sitting up on the counter when doing makeup and stuff like that. Every single time I go to sit on the counter, there's water. So I have to grab a tissue or a napkin or whatever the heck is in the bathroom. I don't know. Wipe that all up, throw that away, and then sit down. Like, <laughs> the sink is right there. Just splash your hands into the sink. Number three on my list is hypocrites. <laughs> what else do I have to say? <laughs> Pet peeve number four, yo! I personally rant to my friends a lot. It's it's the way to like get all of my saltiness and stress and anger like all of that just to get my emotions out But 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 I hate when I send like a series of at least 10 videos and you know like for whatever reason snapchat sends them out of order I have one specific friend <laughs> She just she she'll click on like the fourth video that I sent like it's just wait until all of them send why are you like it's like she's listening to pieces of the story and then after she watches all of them she has to put them together again like ah, bothers me so much pet peeve full hand five when someone wants to hang out with you right so like that's okay and then you say that you have plans and then they say oh well, what time is that like we can just work around that and like, then you say, you know, like, no, it's not gonna work. I have plans for this date, and I'm sticking to those plans. And they're like, no, 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 no. Like, it's it's okay. It's gonna work out. Like, no, if I say I'm busy this day, then I'm busy this day. Please do not try to like work through my schedule and try to do something because clearly I don't want to do something. Just give up. Pet peeve six, including my tongue. This one hits me personally. It's, you know, when you have a hobby and you're not necessarily good at it, but, you know, it just makes you happy. Then other people catch you doing this hobby or whatever, and they make fun of you. My example is singing. I'm a horrible singer. However, I love singing my heart out. Most of my friends don't actually know this. But when they make fun of my singing, it actually really hurts my feelings. And I know, like, Haley, you should just, like, you know, say something. Well, I mean, I don't know, it's just not a me thing to be like, yo, that hurt my feelings, stop. <laughs> Hi friends that are watching this, when you make fun of me singing, it really hurts my feelings. <laughs> Pet peeve 7, including my nostril holes. Well, there's a whole bunch of different people on Snapchat, right? The people that I don't like are the people that every single day have HMU on their story, or screenshot for a TBH, screenshot for a rate. I talked about this in my last video, how some people, I didn't include it, I edited it out. But I find that so annoying. Like, it, why say screenshot for a TBH every single night? Like, this, you, did your opinion on someone change within 24 hours? I don't know. Just That's so annoying. Please stop. Pet peeve number octopus tentacles eight. This one happened recently. I told someone that, you know, I like this guy. And I was going to keep this guy a secret, like my crush, a secret tell my friend I like this guy within like two hours of being home after seeing this person he asks me a whole bunch of questions and now he ignores me so you probably know who you are and shout out to you because <laughs> I don't like him anymore thanks to you pet peeve number nine gone nine 
when people respond with lol or k or like short and like just stuff like that like one word responses and then so you know you leave them on read because what if it's not your job to keep a conversation going it's both of the people so you know you leave them on read read i always say that wrong just you you open it you know that's it you don't reply and then they call you out for it like yo you didn't answer me last night like what's up um excuse you you said lol like what do you want me to do <laughs> Pet peeve number the big one oh! When I'm in the car and a good song is playing, you know, because like always oh, have my aux cord, whatever, and, and I'm like, I'm killing it, right? I'm killing it in the car. And then all of a sudden, I hear my mom to the left of me singing. Excuse me, like I get that you birthed me and everything, but it's my job to entertain the car. Your job is to drive us safely from point A to point B. How hard is it to stick to your own job? Like, I, I can handle singing on my own. Like, thank you. But just leave it to me, Mom. <laughs> Love you, Mom. Along with cars, slow drivers. Shall I say more? Pet peeve one one. This one most girls can relate to. When you look really good in person, you're like, like mm, girl, you popping right now. But then you take a selfie, and you look like you just came out of the oil spill. You know, like, <sighs> can you feel it? Like, it contrary to that when you look really gross in person but you look good on camera <laughs> winning so last on my list for like my most recent pet peeves that i've been like establishing i guess i don't know is when people talk to you with headphones or earbuds or whatever on your head hole like, this has happened so often shoot i'll be downstairs you know family time on my ipad listening to a youtube video Haley, what are we doing tomorrow Haley, and then you know I'm just, mm. and then I have to like rip it out after they're like screaming at me. I'm like, well, hi, <laughs> and then like I get yelled at. Like, I need to breathe after that. Haley, Ooh, Haley is hyped. Okay, so uh, those are my most recent pet peeves. If any of you guys can relate to that, please tell me down below in the comments. I'll be sure to answer you back. And leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe. So I hope you guys have a beautiful and amazing day. Bye. Oh yeah. Have, have I showed off my shoulder muscles yet? Like, oh. Bye, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, I hate myself.